Okay, sorry. Hi, Leo. How are you? Good. How are you? Fine. Baruch Hashem. So what are you bringing today to coaching? Okay, so I have this issue, which is like feeling, um, it's feeling heavy for me right now. Um, basically, um, I love coaching. That's first of all, I have to say. Um, and I, I went into the coaching field because this is something that I, I really enjoy doing and I, I feel very fulfilled and I really see the power of it. And, I, and I'm, I'm so grateful that I could, you know, help other people shine. So I really do love coaching. Um, that being said, I definitely want to expand my clientele fully. And I recently got an offer um, which would help me to have more clients. And that's really where I'm feeling a bit heavy because the offer does sound exciting, but um, I have, like, a few, like, fears about it. Mm -hmm. So you're you're excited to get the offer, but something is still holding you back from feeling fully excited about it. Yeah, there's like a, there's a, there's a few things that are really like weighing me down. Um so should, should I share them? <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know what we'll be able to cover, but maybe I should just like, you know, just tell you what the issue is. Okay, and so then, tell me yeah, tell me a little bit about the issue. Yeah, so are. it's really yeah, so it's really it's it's a few different things. First of all, um as much as I want to build up my clientele, um I don't want. Um, I have a big fear of overdoing it, meaning that um, even though I have a high value on coaching, coaching is not the only value I have in my life. And um, I guess I should say first and foremost, like I personally have a high value on helping my husband, like in his studies and the things that aren't important to, that are important to him. Mm-hmm. So I have a fear of basically being like you know, overtaken by coaching clients because of something that I love to do and, like, this other value is just going to completely get lost. That's, that's like, one thing. Um, I also have, like, an issue. It's really similar. It's really with my family that I, I don't want to – I do have – I have a big family. I still have babies. Um, I don't want it to, like, tread on, you know, on that area either. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, then my other issue is that I'm still, I'm still working as a speech therapist. I'm not working a lot at all, but I do still give like a few hours each week. Um, okay, maybe this isn't the main issue, but it's sort of like, I guess this is like a little bit part of it because um, I'm a little bit torn. Like I'm taking on coaching clients. Like what am I doing with speech? I'm not ready to give it up and I'm not. I don't know, but maybe that's not the main thing, but that's one part of it. And then I guess. Another part of it, really, which is maybe part of the solution, is that I have a fear also that that the person who's like helping me with these clients, um, I, I, she, I'm sure she doesn't mean to be pushy, but to me, it's going to feel like pushy, and I could see myself being in a position that it's going to be hard to me to say like, no, I'm only doing like this and this amount. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm hearing a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Beginning what you, yes, what you were talking about at the beginning was really seemed like a conflict of values where you love coaching and there's something about coaching that honors a value, but then you're hoping or worrying that it shouldn't, um, you know, step on other values like your value of of being there to support your husband in the ways that you have been and to be there for your family. That's one issue that you're struggling with. Separately. Um, you're, in general, you're feeling, so I feel like I just missed the, the third the third issue, but the fourth issue that I just heard was that you're nervous that you won't, like you won't be able to say no to this person's pushiness and you might end up taking on more than you want to. You'll be taking, it, it'll take over your life in a way that you're not prepared. And now I'm remembering you said also about your speech therapy. So yeah, it sounds yeah. like... And then also, and then just to, just to explain, like the piece of like saying no, I guess it's also a concern because I, I don't want to get caught up like this other person who's, who's, you know, wants me to take on clients and who's going to help me. For her, it's like a very, it's like maybe her life goal. And for me, like maybe life coaching is a life goal of mine, but it's not everything. And I don't want to get like caught up by, by her like enthusiasm that I'm losing my, my, own, my own sense of values. 
So that really connects really to your first two concerns, which is, you know, the value of coaching and yeah, what yeah, place that yeah, takes. Yeah. What place that takes, you know, alongside your other values. So would you say that the first two and the fourth point are really connected, and then your speech therapy? Yeah, more of a probably. Technical question? Yeah, the speech therapy. I guess you know. I guess if we have time at the end, or if not, maybe another time. It's really just like, like a little piece, like how, like. I guess maybe it is more technical. I'm not sure, but maybe we could put it on the side for now. Mm-hmm. So with all these things going on in your mind, with the sense that you you have certain values that you want to make sure that you're honoring, and with your fears that you might not, or that there might be a conflict, what, what would you really want to have out of our time together? Um, I think that I want to decide for myself what I want, and then when I get back to this person um, about, like, what I want to do, I want to, um, I don't want to, I want to, like, I don't want to, everything she's doing is good, but I don't want to be, like, influenced by, like, any pressure that's coming, like, from her goal. I want to stick with what what works for me. Right. So the clarity you're going to get will hopefully make you feel confident with what you decide and you won't be influenced by whatever energy there is in the conversation, even if it's good. Yeah, I guess I guess that's I guess energy is a good word. I want to be so full of my energy that I don't want to get influenced by hers. Even though her energy is, is wonderful, but I don't wanna I don't wanna um you know, I guess going back you know, I don't want to be conflict with what I really want. Right. You want you want this to be your own path and you don't want to sort of just big piggy pack on her path of what she my own path. My own path. You yeah, want it to be yeah, your own yeah. path to coaching and how much and how how center you know how central it is to your life. That's going to be your own decision. But um, and you don't want yeah, to, you and don't I want guess to... also because this person she to me she's a pretty powerful person and she's affected me like in a positive way in other ways. So that's why like it gets like more tricky for me. Mhm. So. In other words, there's an extra sort of draw that she has. Like there's a way that she draws you in because of the fact that you already have her. I think so. I think so. I think so. I think she's had had a positive influence in my life, and um, and yeah. But I I don't want it to take away from my, from my own you know my own my own path, as you said. Right. Okay. So what you were saying that you'd want to figure out what you want. What yeah. are you thinking about in terms of what you want? Is it are you thinking in terms of quantity, quality, like what do you mean um, by what you want? Right. So I guess um, maybe like I'm like excited and I'm nervous. I, I do want to say I, I know that the 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 one or two clients like I don't that I that I let's say speak to let's say every week. Um, I do feel like I, I definitely like feel a lot of fulfillment and I, I feel like it's it's really powerful work. So I'd be so excited to expand. Um, I guess like besides the technical issues and like the price and everything which I, I could work out, I think it's I think it's really mainly maybe I have to like just draw the line because I, I think that every new client that that I take on is not just that hour. Like sometimes it's complication. Sometimes you have to like, you know, ask advice how to like how to deal with a client if something comes up. Like it's not just that hour. I think I feel like mm-hmm. it's a lot more than that hour that I'm taking on. Mhm. You, you you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. So what so what's the question you want to sort of have answered by the end of our time together? That's a good question. Um, let me think. Um, maybe it's like, what do I, what do I really want that I could um. I guess it's what I really want that I feel totally comfortable with and that I could, um, you know, express with confidence to this other person and and not get pulled in. Mm -hmm. And when you say what you really want, what do you mean? Like, I guess I mean more like quantity. Like, what am I, like, how many more clients do I want right now in my life? Mm -hmm. So basically how, what do you really want in terms of how busy do you want to be with coaching? Yeah, I guess so because I think that um, 
I think that that's part of my fear that I'm worried that I'm going to get sort of like sucked in and like say, okay, fine. I'm ready to take five more clients. I'm really not ready to take five more clients because of all the, the things I said, my husband, my family, and the speech issue, even if we're not talking about it now. Right. So, right. so, um, what I really want means like, I guess like the quantity of clients that I want to take mm-hmm. right now. Okay. So, so if we can come up with, with some sort of, um, whether it's a number or an idea of how much you want um, coaching to be filling up your life, that would be meeting your goal. Um, that, that would be part of my goal. And then the second piece is like how I could, um, you know, if we're able to, how, how um, I could tell it over to this person with confidence and not get drawn in if I'm like, you know, pressured to take on more. Right. So maybe... To say that in different words, in what I said before, is really to feel confident about how many clients you want to be coaching at this point? Yeah. Is there hesitation over there? Is there a still- little bit, yeah, because it's, it's more, yeah, thank you for picking it up. No, it's it's feeling confident, but it's a little bit more than that because it's it's feeling confident and also not being affected by her positive energy that might pull me to take to take more. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. a little bit more than confidence. So what would you need? Um, well, maybe I would first want to feel confident, and then I would like see from there like what I need. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's try to aim for being confident about what you want to do in terms of the amount of coaching clients you want to be involved in, and then see if that brings you to how would you approach her with that information. Right. Is there anything else that's part of this? No, I think that's like the main thing. Mm. Okay. And how would you know that you have that at the end of the session? Um, I think I'll have more clarity. Like right now I'm feeling like, you know, like this heaviness and like this fog, mm-hmm. like from the like like the not having the clarity. Okay. So what do you think we should start with in terms of exploring what you really want to be doing with coaching? Yes, I think I just need to, like, think through out loud, like, what makes sense to me, like, even in terms of numbers, mm-hmm. um, like, how much I want to take on. Because, like, as I was saying, to me, like, if I, if I take on a, each client, is, is like, a very big responsibility. It's not, it's not just another hour. It, to me, it's more than that. Right. So to get to, to, get to that place... Uh, figuring out a number, you know, what, what kind of information do you want to use? Is it your experience? Okay, so, so yes, I think right now that um, I think that maybe part of this is technical, that I think that before I call this person up, after the session, I think I'm going to, I will um, sit down and, like, make out a schedule, like, with my future clients, like, what really, really fits for me in my life, Um. And I think I'll come up with a number, but for now, I would just throw out, like, even just what comes to my mind, and then I would, like, play with it afterwards. Um, and then, like, so this way I could, like, work on how I could, um, you know, give it over to her. Right. Does that make sense? So, yeah, so it's, it sounds like from the way you started it off that you, there are two things that are at play. One is your desire to do coaching and your sense that it definitely fulfills um, something for you, and it is a value. So there is a pro right. for coaching, and yet there's sort of a, you know, a boundary you want to put not to get too far, so that it encroaches on other, you know, other values you have. Yeah, I like that word boundary. I think that's 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 um, yeah, what I mean. So, if you were to find a number, a magic number. Okay. Yeah, but I would okay. even throw out, let's say, three. Like, let's say, like, it's, like I, I'll, I would think, again, I would make my schedule, like, afterwards and, like, figure it out. But I would throw out, let's say, even for now. Like, let's say I want to take it up, take on three more clients. Three more clients. Okay, so you basically, let's say we're throwing out a magic number that it's three more clients. Okay. And what would need to be taking place in your life for you to feel that that's the right number? Um... I think that maybe I would, again, I would sit down afterwards and, like, think it through. And maybe I would even, like, do, 
I would maybe even start with a little less. Maybe I'll even just start with two and then say, like, after Yantif, I'll take on another one. Mm-hmm. I, I think then I would would feel more at peace. Okay. And, and what would, in other words, what would be the indication of this is the right number? What are you playing around with it and you're trying it out? Um, so be- I'm not 100% sure, but to be honest, I'm thinking right now that, like, so interesting, just from talking, I feel like my heaviness is more, like, how I'm going to, like, like, deal with this other person. Like, like, I didn't realize that beforehand, but as I'm talking, like, I'm realizing that's more my heaviness, like, how I'm going to stick with what works for me. Mm-hmm. So it seems like the number is not such a big issue. You could probably figure that out, but you... Now that we spoke about it, yeah, now that I we spoke about it, I, 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 real, I had this awareness that I could figure out the number. Like if I sit down afterwards and I sit down with my schedule, I could really figure out what would work for me. Mm-hmm. So let's say, again, you have a magic number, whatever that is, assuming that it's uh, two new clients, two additional clients, um, okay. and you were to have that conversation. So... Let me ask you, who would you need to show up as in that conversation in order to feel confident and secure and not be sort of back, you know, pulled into her energy? Right. So I'm trying to think. Um, it's a good question. I'm, I'm thinking like I, I think that my chat, my I, I'm like understanding my challenge as I'm talking. It's like this, like so many people in my life that I say I don't want to be influenced by you know, family members or whatever it is. So when I'm with them, I could sort of just like get into my own positive energy and like tune them out. But over here, because she's such a positive person and she has impacted me like in a lot of positive ways, like that's why it's feeling like a much bigger challenge. And like, that's what I'm trying to think. Like, who would I want to be? Like, like even that question is like, feels so tricky. Well, let me ask you maybe then something else. Did you ever have a situation with this person or with somebody like that that's a positive influence that you were able to stick to your ground and say this is what I do want to do or don't want to do? Yeah, so that's a good, that is a good question. Um, let me think. I'm trying to think um, with this person because I do have like a long-standing relationship with her. Um, yeah, I think I have. I think that um, I'm remembering now um, – it wasn't easy for me, but there were a few times that, you know, she wanted certain favors from me, like errands or something like that, um, um, you know, like with my car or whatever it was, that it wasn't easy for me, and I did say, like, what I could do and what I can't do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it sounds like there is some strength that's somewhere, whether it's on the surface. Yeah, or there is, surface. but I remember that it was a trivial thing, but it, it was it was actually difficult for me, but I remember like I remember that you know I that I did do it. Mm-hmm. So you're saying that it was difficult for you, and you did do it. Do you remember what you felt like when you did do that? Um, yeah, I think I felt very. Um, I, I think the word that I would say is whole. I felt very like like whole, like that that um that I'm really truly like being myself because I I think that it's like interesting but even if like you're with like very positive people and people who like have a like a great influence on you like even with that you could lose like a bit of yourself right wow that's very insightful yeah no it really is an awareness for me like so I think even though, like, you know, especially with all these trainings, I have been around very positive people, and everyone impacted me in such a beautiful way, but sometimes there is, like, a risk of losing myself. So I think that when I when I said no to her, or I just, like, spoke, you know, what I could, I was, like, very, very clear, like, what I could do and what I can't do, there was, like, a certain, like, completeness that I think I, I experienced. Wow. Wow. So that's, like, a memory... <laughs> to sort of hold on to. And yeah. um, I'm wondering how we, how you would consider bringing that into the situation. So, um, I guess I could really try. I guess I could, first of all, like, clarify for myself, like, very clearly, like, what... Um, 
what what I want to do and what um you know what would be like a good boundary for me like the number that I would take right now like a number that I maybe I would consider like um you know after all the holidays um and maybe I would try to like really like center myself like before the conversation um and then I would just be very, very clear on what I'm willing to do and what I'm not willing to do. Mm-hmm. Well, so let's say if we can sort of wave the magic wand and you had everything that it takes to have that conversation with confidence and with strength, what would that do for you? It would be amazing because um, I'm really getting a lot of awareness over here <laughs> because... Um, I think what it would do for me is that it would it would um help me I guess to be like like really the best of who I am and like again like not influenced even in a positive way like by others but it, I would really be able to like you know be on my own path and you know I'm still be very connected to this person and I'm uh, you know I'm grateful if if she's going to help me to get clients or whatever it is but I think it would keep me more like in my own energy Right. So it sounded like, as you said, that I'm getting a lot of awareness to do with like a little chuckle, like you were getting excited about it. So do you want to share? Yeah. What, what kind of awareness? Is yeah, there? thank you. Yeah, because it's like my, my main awareness from this conversation, I think, is realizing that, um, like, that this person, you know, even if she impacted me in many positive ways, like, like the the risk of, um, of being, like, too influenced to the extent that I can't, like, think for myself, like, enough. Mm-hmm. So, um, like, my awareness is that that if I could, you know, set that boundary and say no, like, re- like, re- like, even if she's saying something that's amazing, you know, but I'm still able to, to say no and be myself, that, like, really feels good. Right, well... So I'm hearing, um, you know, a strength in your ability to to absorb the good of other people, and yet on the other side, a value of being able to be an independent thinker. Does that resonate? Um, can you say that again? Can you say that again? <laughs> there, there's a, yes, there's a strength in your being willing to be influenced by people, which is what you've been in that relationship for most of the time, and yet a separate value of being an independent thinker. Yeah, yeah. So what would we need to talk about over the next few minutes just to get this solidified? Because it seems like you have a vision of what you want to be. You have also um, some knowledge and experience in what that would do for you, and you're clearly on the path. What What else... Can we talk about or what are things we should uncover in the next few minutes that would just strengthen your resolve to have that conversation from that perspective? Um, no, so I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, I guess um, the, the awareness that I, you know, could get pulled in because like it's so positive that that's like pretty big for me. Um, maybe I just somehow like want to just like remind myself that like almost like like I don't like want to like sound like competitive, but. Almost like that, like, my my power is just as great as hers. Like, mm-hmm. I, I could still gain from her, but, you know, just that I shouldn't be, um, you know, like, drawn in, I guess. I don't know, something like that, maybe. Right. So it seems like... Yeah, maybe just that, like, my, like my path is, like... The, the path that I want to take with my values that I want to take, which, you know, does include coaching as a big part of it, but, like, maybe for me, that's much more powerful than what she's offering. Mm-hmm. 
Right. So it sounds like as we're talking, you're taking more ownership of your own power. The word power is what you used. And I'm sensing sort of an increase in your ownership of your own power and what you can, who you are for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that word. Ownership of my own power. Yeah, I think that's like a big thing for me. So are you thinking of this conversation and seeing yourself be able to hold on to these awarenesses? Or do you feel like there's more you need to um, work through that would make it challenging? No, I think that maybe I'll I'll um, give myself a little bit of time again just like to figure out the technical things so that I feel more confident. And um, maybe I will give myself like a few minutes like before I have this conversation with her, like, you know, to use the, your words because I like those words, like just to really like make sure like I'm, you know, regaining my own, you know, ownership of, you know, my own strength and my own power, you know, and my own life. Right. Well, so so as you're like sort of more winding down, I'm just sensing like sort of a calmness in your energy. Are you feeling that as well? Yeah, I for sure am because it's, it was pretty like heavy for me and it's so interesting that um like at the beginning I like I like like, I thought that it was, like, more like a, I was nervous about the clash in my own values. And really, like, once I think it through, like, I, I'm so clear on what I want. Like, I'll I'll be able to, like, think afterwards. I know I'll be so clear. It was more like I was worried about being, like, just get pulled in to take more, to take on more. Right. So it it seemed like we started out with what do you want in coaching and how are you going to um, approach this person. And you sort of put what do you want in coaching to something simple to figure out on your own and how you're right. approaching the person became sort of the bigger topic that we discovered. Right, 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 the conversation with this person, right. So how, how would you say you feel today if you were to have a conversation with her right now? How would I feel? Um I th- I think good. I-, I think much more confident. And I and I think the fact that I um like that you asked me about like something in the past where I was able to like set a boundary like and what it felt for me like that's really like my push. Mhm. Okay, so you're going to take that with you, like that memory and that experience into your conversation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you you do have a lot of awarenesses, and it seems like you're feeling lighter. Um. And in terms of of what's available for you in order to have the conversation with the confidence and the power that you feel, what do you think you need to do to have that conversation? Um, No, I think I'm just going to think through, like, be very, very clear on what I want. And um, I think I'm just going to, like... Sort of like like step into myself, if you know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. you, you know, really just to like maybe even just to like you know acknowledge myself like for my own values, so that I could um you know like take ownership. Mm-hmm. So what's what would that look like? I think it's just like really time for myself. I think that's really what it is. It's just, you know, thinking through, like, pen and paper, the technical part, and then just um, giving myself, like, a couple of minutes just to, like, be with myself and and to, like, just, like, imagine what it means for me. I think, like, that will do the job. Okay. So it sounds like you have a path forward. And when do you think this is going to be happening in terms of thinking this through and empowering yourself? I think if I'm able to tonight, I, I would love to do it tonight. I would love to, like, just get it over with and, um, yeah. Okay, so do you need anything to hold yourself accountable, both in terms of the preparation for the conversation and the actual conversation? Um, no, but maybe not beforehand, but maybe like after I have the conversation, I will follow up with you with like a short phone call. Okay, so I just want to like applaud you for the courage to be true to yourself, despite the fact that this person is a great influence in your life and has been so positive and has this energy that sort of can suck you in in a good way also. But, you know, it takes courage even in the face of something like that to say, I'm going to be true to myself. Um, So I just want to know, do you feel like we're complete for now? Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. Thank you. That was really, really helpful. Okay, so just let me close the recording.